Hello everyone. Now the applications of uh, lasers. As we know, there are many applications, wide variety of uh, in the wide variety of fields, such as uh, communication, medicine, in the defense field, and already we have seen the cutting and drilling of the metal or wood by the laser beam. So there are so many applications. Now we will look at only two applications. One is data storage application and another is defense in the range finding application so in the data storage application we have we know now the data is stored inside the cd or in the dvd cd is nothing but the compact disc that is having the capacity of 550 mb to 720 mb and this dvd digital versatile disc is having capacity to store the data around 400, 4 GB to 16 GB. Nowadays we have Blu-ray discs that is having much more uh, capacity of storage that is 128 GB. So here very simple technology is used that is a narrow beam of uh, the laser. The beam width is 50 micrometer. That narrow beam of a laser beam is hit to the CD and it makes the change is there that is it it creates a pit it burns there actually so that burnt pit is represented with the zero and where it is not burnt that is called as a land and it is represented with one now what we have is zero and one on the compact disc on the dvd on the cd so that we can easily store the information what all information we have that can be stored in the cd so if 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 i hope you know that everything is written in the binary digits that may be color that may be letters that may be the movie that may be anything that will be written in the form of a binary digits that is zero and one that may be sound that may be picture that whatever it is that that will be uh, stored in uh, zero and one digits so now what we created is we have created the pits and lands that means we have burnt uh, and said it as a pit and where it is not burnt where it is not damaged that is called as uh, the land like this we can write the zeros and ones on the cd uh, like this we can store the data inside the cd or dvd so here the cd consists of uh, the three layers uh, the thickness of the cd is 1 mm we can able to see that we can that is a hard uh, circular disc which is having 1 mm thickness so three layers are the base that is hard polycarbonate layer okay that disc itself is polycarbonate on that a thin layer of reflective aluminum is coated upon that we have a thin uh, layer of transparent plastic is coated on that so there are three things in the cd or dvd polycarbonate aluminum layer and thin transparent plastic layer so what we see the reflective side that is uh, we, can, we are looking at the aluminum layer and the thin transparent polycarbonate layer on the other side uh, it will be it will not be reflective where they stick uh, the content of that right if it is a movie then the uh, the photo or picture of the movie will be there on the other side so reflective layer we are interested in so when uh, the the cd consists of the spiral track it will be uh, the spiral from the center to the outside and it is divided into blocks right so it's a spiral thing which is we can able to see that if we hold at some angle we can see the spiral tracks on that we cannot able to see the blocks because those are very uh, small blocks inside that so that is the spiral thing and when we insert that inside the uh, cd drive or the computer when we insert that what happens that <coughs> so we have the three diagrams over here one is a that is the uh, spiral track and block it is showing 
and second one is it's, it's a cross section of the CD which is showing three layers polycarbonate aluminium and the plastic and uh, there it is shown the pit and land okay that we will see uh, pit when when the laser beam incident on the aluminium so it burns some part of that 0 0.1 mm of uh, the uh, part is burnt there and it makes the pit and where it is not burning that is called as the land so like that pit is indicated with a zero land is indicated with one that is a cross-sectional diagram of that now this is schematic diagram how it is burnt how it is done when we insert the cd so in the schematic diagram we have yes yes is the source of the laser when source of the laser is incident it, it travels and reflected by m that is a mirror so yes is the source it is reflected by the mirror m and it is reflected down and hits to the cd disc that is uh, it, it hits to the cd okay and it makes the uh, pit and lands there according to the the information which we have okay so this is the cd burning or cd writing process from yes it goes to the cd uh, from yes reflected by m and hits to the cd that is a disc and now uh, how it it is been re read okay in the same way we can uh, read it so uh, the, again the source yes is uh, the source yes is in, uh, incident on the compact disc on the cd and whatever it is reflected back from the cd the first thing what i said is it's a writing process that is a burning process when it is burnt the pit and lines are created now second part is reading process how it is read okay when we inserted the the burnt cd or written cd when we insert inside the computer at that time it starts uh, rotating and it is uh, it is read by again the laser source itself so how it is read the source is incident on the compact disc and it is reflected back from the cd when it is reflected back from the cd again it it falls on m reflects to the b b is again a uh, a mirror from there it goes to the uh, receiver or the diode which receives the signals reflected from the cds and it is been read very easily and fed to the computer okay there are two processes one is reading process and there is writing process in reading process we create pits and lines by using the laser beam a very narrow laser beam we use 50 micrometer of uh, narrow laser beam if you open your laptop's uh, cd-rom there will be tiny thing that is a shining uh, like a diode okay. the diode itself is it's a laser diode okay and uh, that uh, that that is a source and that itself is the uh, reads it okay the, that is a reading process in reading process the light which is reflected uh, back the light which is reflected from the pit so light will not reflect from the pit because uh, it has been pit that means there is no material it has been etched okay the light which is reflected from the land that is considered as one the light which is which will not reflect okay because pit will not give us the light back so that is zero so in this in this manner that zeros and ones are read by this computer and this is the reading process so i have given here the notes and you can write in your own sentences not necessary to write not necessary to draw this block diagram like this only it's a simple block diagram uh, it is like this so this is the data storage application now second one is second one is it is defense application in the defense the laser is used to find out the distances to the targets okay so here also it's a very simple thing 
which we use here we have a source and detector where we are present okay <clears throat> the instrument is having source and also it is including the detector the source of laser which gives the pulses of uh, the lasers out and it hits to the target and reflected back the reflected back is called as echo or the reflected laser and it comes back to the detector and it is detected and it is filtered and it is enhanced signal is enhanced the thing is the laser is emitted hit to the target comes back to the again same position same detector right so we know the time of pulse so time traveled uh, to the target and coming back okay that means we are knowing the distance traveled by the light that is 2d once it is going to the target and coming back to the detector that is 2d so time required also we know okay and speed of light we know that is a c by using these things we can easily find out uh, we, we can easily find out the distance okay we have now we have c is equal to distance divided by time that is speed is equal to distance divided by time therefore distance can be d is equal to ct divided by 2 and like this we can easily find out the distance between any two objects by using the laser source in the defense uh, the use to the every tank uh, military tank will be having this uh, range finder okay there are so many range finders nowadays we have with the uh, with the builders that means while while measuring the small distances in the construction also we use this range finders uh, one such is with me i can show you once we come back to the college so this is the range finder and every airplane or the tanks or even the guns it is having that kind of a the range finder to find out the distance accuracy of that is very very high so accurately it measures error is around one percent only so it measures the distance and uh, and they they'll calculate and that information is fed to the computer and it calculates and tells the distance between the two things and the possible uh, the target so where they have to hit 